Clap your hands now. Everybody get up your seat. I don't want to see you come for beat, but I want to know if you come for free. If we go down to the streets, I got a D. PCP don't want your ecstasy. I want you sitting right next to me. Baby. I know you're licking your scrotum. I know you're licking your scrotum. Your scrotum. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Episode... 85. 85, bitch. Episode 85. Um, got my card here. There is absolutely nothing on here. This week, I've got a oops, I've got a busy week. This week, I've got I've got stuff going on. So right now, I'm recording this podcast in my my moment of free time, and I'm gonna have to edit it tomorrow. Cause usually I film these I film these bad boys, I uh, upload the footage to my computer, and then I edit it right then and there, so that it's you know it's good to go. And then I even uh, I even upload it once it's done exporting. I'll upload it, but I'll schedule it so that it goes up on a scheduled scheduled day, like a schedule. You know what a schedule is? Oh, I wish the seat went higher, but it don't. It don't go higher. It don't go higher. Now, last episode, last episode, I um. I noticed that the backdrop, the mushroom, the mushroom village was um, too, too light. There was too much light. So I kind of, uh, I've, I've upgraded the system here and hopefully this looks, this looks nice from what I can see now, but we won't know until I start uh, editing the footage. I will see what goes on, right? Very nice. Very good now. And also, this whole week, I do not have work. Fantastic. So I'm growing out my beard. Because if you didn't know, I am not allowed to have a beard for the uh, for the dumbass job that I'm a part of. Oops. Sorry. I know that's loud and annoying, but I just need to get the microphone in a good posse. A good position. <sighs> Okay, folks, so this, this episode might just be, it might just be a quickie, you know? I might not make it to an hour. I might not even make it to 45 minutes. We'll see how things go. What the fuck? I was going to look something up, and now I can't remember. Cannot remember. Can't remember. Does this Does this mic angle bother you? Cause see, I want to have it right here. Should be fine, right? That's good. Keep it right there. La skipeshka booskin bagan bargain, skin bagan bargain boogin dagan dagan. What the fuck was I gonna look up? Oh, I remember. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Bow. So, what's going on? What's new in your life? Um. What can I talk about? So right now, I'm trying to find. Uh, oh, I just burped and it tasted so good. The burp tasted good. I'm trying to. I'm trying to fucking. I would like to have a. Come on. I want to have. Here we go. I need to download some sort of oh, baby. Come on baby light my fire. Come on baby light my fire. Okay, what am I I'm trying I'm trying to download something that I can uh That I can. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm trying. What the fuck am I trying to say? I want. What do you call these things? I just want like a little, a little, a little machine that I can uh, press buttons and it makes noises. What the fuck do you call that? I tried to. Couldn't remember it last time either. Damn boy, you telling me you can't download this on the fucking computer? Is that what you're telling me? Damn, I should have, you know what, I gotta, this is not something I can fucking research right now. This is something I gotta do on my own time. You know, I can't just be fucking trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to figure out my goddamn uh, podcast while I'm recording a podcast. That's fucking stupid. Don't be stupid, people. Don't be stupid. Don't you dare be stupid. Don't, don't, don't. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. You get it? Okay, good. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Yeah, I know. I'm rambling because I can't think of anything to talk about. <sighs> you know what? Whenever this happens, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab a bundle. The bundle of already used cards. And I'm just going to pick one out of the middle here. And we're just going to go. Oh my god. Seriously? I picked... Episode 45, and fuck me, the first thing on there is The Office. How many times have I talked about The Goddamn Office on this show? That is a good show, though. You, you love, you gotta love, you gotta love The Office. And if you don't, you haven't given it a chance. You have to. If you if you if you're one of those people who said I gave the office a chance and I don't like it. Here's what I got to say to you. You need to watch the first season, the whole first season, finish it off and then finish off the second season and then make your decision. Which you shouldn't have to do. But I'm telling you, well, I guess it it's not for everyone. But it can be. It's very, 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 very relatable. Tupac! I'm going to tell you a story. Tupac. I'm going to tell you a story um, about me when I was... This, this next thing reminded me of a story. This next thing on here. So I'm going to tell you a story uh, about me when I was in grade 7. So... Prior to prior, well, prior to going into grade seven, uh, I was in grade six, obviously. But uh, the school I went to went f was a small school. It went from kindergarten, kindergarten to grade six. Okay, and there was probably only about three hundred kids in the whole school, and each year you had the exact same students in the class you were in pr the previous year. So from kindergarten to grade six, I've, I only knew the people that were in my class at that time. S so, you know, you develop a close relationship and friendship with all of them. But then when I moved on to grade seven, uh, it's a brand new school. It goes from grade seven to nine. And that school had thousands of students from all over the place. And every year you had different people in your class you know like a normal big ass school um so i was very nervous to enter into this new world as anyone would be being you know i went to a school that uh that i became comfortable with and i didn't want to go so anyway i went i'm uh, i'm in in grade seven you know, I'm in my class. I don't know. This. I, I only know one. There's only one person in my class in this grade seven year that was actually in my class in the in the in the other school, in the previous school. And uh, but we didn't really hang out. 
So anyway, I had to do, you know, I had to make new friends and whatever. But that's not that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at here is early in this grade seven year, okay, we were in social studies class. I think it was either social studies or science. No, it was definitely social studies. And um, so in this in this class, there were two particular students who were we'll call them alpha males okay they were they were top of the food chain in the school uh you didn't mess with them they set the rule you know you know the students the big the big the tough guys the guys who who run the show they were in my class okay and remember those old projectors that teachers used to use they may still use them but i highly doubt it but it looked like it was like a big square box and then it had like a gooseneck thing that came up and there was like a mirror two mirrors up in here and then there was on the square thing there was like a a, a transparent uh tabletop with a light that shined through and then you would put a a uh, transparent laminated whatever the fuck piece of uh, paper onto that flat piece and the light would shine through the through the through the <laughs> through the translucent paper and it, it would project the words into the mirror and then onto the onto the wall and that's how you know that's how teachers did presentations and shit like that so um you know it, it, it's all about light and shadows so I was sitting next to this machine and every time the the teacher was facing the students her back was turned to the to the wall where the information was. So while her while her back was to the wall and she was facing the students I would stick my middle finger up onto the device and then it would display the middle finger up on the wall. And then I got a at that point, I got a reaction from everyone in the class. Everyone was laughing. This was my, f f well, one of my, f pro oh, probably my first real class clown moment that got an actual good reaction from everybody. It's not something I was good at. But I did it. Everyone laughed. It felt good. It felt great. You know. You know how it is. So... The teacher gets mad and says, what are y'all laughing at? Stop laughing. Let's get back to business here. Stay focused. So we get back on track. Uh, about 15 minutes later, I stick my finger back up there. It's projected on the wall. Instant laugh from everybody. And this time they're laughing even harder. And then she, now the teacher's getting mad. She's like, stop laughing. What are you laughing at? She had no idea what was going on. Um... The laughter comes, dies down, and then I go right back up to it. Laughter again, nonstop. I'm feeling good. And now the two people in particular, these two alpha males, they were laughing the hardest, and they weren't stopping. Like they were like full belly laugh, almost crying, falling out of their seat. Um, and now the teacher's really mad, very, very mad. And she says to the two alpha male students, she, she looks at them and says, if you guys laugh one more time, I'm putting you in ISSP for the day. If you don't know what ISSP it is in our school, that's an acronym for in-school suspension, which means you basically, through the, the rest, the whole day, the whole school day, you have to sit in a room with a, with a teacher that watches over you all day by yourself or or whoever else is in in-school suspension you don't get to talk to the other people it's just like a little you know it's, a, it's like a detention it's pretty much just detention but it's during school hours and you don't get sent home you if you, if you get sent home on a suspension that's even worse but we're not going to get into that so the teacher uh sets out the threat and says yes if y'all keep and laughing she doesn't curse though if y'all keep laughing i'm not joking i'm putting you two in into school suspension there's they you know the laughter dies down and she's like okay let's get back into it and right when she starts talking again 
boom, up with the middle finger. And they burst out in laughter once more. And I'm like, yes, this feels great. And then she's like, okay, that's it. You two, in school suspension. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. So, immediately, uh, the two alpha males turn around, look at me. No longer are they laughing. Um, But they say to me, we are going to kick your fucking ass. You are dead after school, you hear me? And I had never been in a fight. Still haven't to this day. Physically. Physical fight. So, you know, of course, new school, new emotions, new people. And on top of that, um, I thought I was heading in the right direction of making friends by making people laugh. But it turns out it uh, was a huge hindrance to me. So, at that moment, when they turned around and said that to me, I immediately started sweating. And I was scared out of my fucking wits. Like, these guys would obviously, no doubt about it, kick the fucking shit out of me there's <laughs> there's no doubt about it and they wouldn't care so i was you know i was sweat and i was nervous wasn't paying attention to anything the teacher said from here on out i definitely wasn't putting the middle finger or anything up on the projector anymore so uh one of my friends that i happened to make in that same class was laughing at me <laughs> he's like you're so fucked dude like he, you're gonna get your fucking ass kicked and he was you know he was it was it was funny to him but it was f- absolutely frightening to me so i went i went up to the teacher and uh i said hey you know like at, she, after she finished her little speech or whatever she sat back down at her desk i walked up to her desk and i said hey look don't put them in ins- don't put them in in school suspension. This was my fault. I am the one who was putting my middle finger up on the projector and I was making them laugh. It's my fault. Do not punish them because they are going to fucking murder me. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I said, but basically that's what it is. And she said, "Okay." She stood up and she's like, okay, you two are not going into suspen- in school suspension. Justin just told me it was his fault. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> so, called off. And they didn't really, they just kind of looked over, the two alpha males kind of just looked over at me and they didn't really say anything. And, but they didn't, and they definitely did not want to fight me anymore after that. But what that, you know, that blossomed into a real friendship between these two alpha male characters. Completely unintentional. I never would have thought that they would become one of my great friends. But throughout the rest of grade 7, I continued my class clown endeavor. But I did it in a way that, you know, obviously wasn't going to harm me. And it turned out that I... I I turned into a popular kid in grade seven. That was the only year out of all out of all twelve years. That was the only year. The one year that I thought I was going to hate, and I wished I wasn't there, turned out to be l- the best school year I've ever had. Grade seven, hands down, no doubt about it. Because I was so comfortable in that class that I would speak out and I was I would I was the one along with a few other kids who was making people laugh every day and that felt so good and when and then when there was like group projects and there was team captains that would pick who was in their group or whatever I was one of the first people picked every single time and that has never happened to me before or after that year You know, before that year, I was kind of the nerdy loner kid. And then after grade seven, back to the nerdy loner kid. But, uh, you know, so those two alpha males were in one of my group projects once. And they picked me to be in their group. And the the friendship blossomed into such a, it became, we became such good friends that um, eventually those two alpha males said to me, they took me aside one day and said, if there's ever 
a time in your life where you 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 need backup you need someone to like fight or whatever if you're in a fight you call us and we will back you up guaranteed so they went from wanting to murder me to be my backup if i ever got in a fight which i i'm not gonna get in a fight here's the thing if i if i if i encounter a situation where I have to resort to physical violence or the other person wants to resort to physical violence, I find a way to talk my way out of it. And if I can't talk my way out of it, see ya. I'm just gone. I'm leaving. I have never and I highly doubt I will ever um, um, what's the word? I will never have never escalated or uh, participated in a physical fight now obviously there's reasons why I haven't let me look at me I'm not you know this guy is not a fighter you can just tell by looking at me right away that's that's the first indication uh, but then second you know it doesn't really resolve the issue it, but it but it can though like there's I'm not saying fighting is bad because it's it's not always fighting can be very beneficial and it can teach you a lot and I didn't really understand this until I started watching Joe Rogan he's really good at explaining the benefits of what of fighting because there are benefits and there's uh and there's obviously negative aspects of it too um, but that's like any anything. There's a, just like anything out there. Look at this shit. I'm I'm just reading. I'm just glossing over what uh, what I wrote on this episode 45 here. Uh, na, na, na. It says boiling lobster. That's the uh, that's the fifth bullet point here. Don't know what that means what does that mean boiling lobster have you ever boiled a lobster before i'm from nova scotia so i know all about lobster okay you can't talk to me about lobster i'm let me th you know l people from all over the world eat lobster f from the coast of Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is popular for the seafood. The s seafood! Even on the Fresh Prince of Belair, Belair, he, I remember when, when I heard the Fresh Prince say Nova Scotia, and they were talking about lobster or seafood or something, and I was living in Nova Scotia, Sydney, to be specific, Cape Breton, to be even more Pacific, uh, it blew me away and it made me happy because, as you know, Fresh Prince is one of my all-time faves. It's a great shizzo. It's a great show, fellas. It's a fallacy. It's a fallacy. So, how'd you like that story? Good story, huh? Story time! No, story time's over. Like I said, this is going to be a, sh a short one, so we're just going to jump right into Reddit, a few little Reddit posts, and then we'll have to end her. We'll end her. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Yeah. Woo! <coughs> <coughs> so, down, up, down, whoops, up, down, up, down, up. Are you wondering why I do that every episode? <laughs> Think about it. You, you can figure it out. It's the end of the world as we know it. 
well, you might not figure it out. If if you're a person who do uh, does video editing and audio stuff, you will understand maybe why I do that. And obviously, what I'm doing is not the right way to do it. But I'm not a profesh, okay? I'm not. Never said I was. Never said I will be. So suck. Suck my dick. Suck on it. Hi, astrophysics meets astrology. This one's not that great. So basically, I've seen this one today. It's like the bachelor and this astrophysicist says he's an astrophysicist to the girl. The girl says, oh, my sign is Gemini. And blue, blah, blue. She needs some milk. Oh, this shit. I don't want to watch that one. That one's horrible. I captured this picture of my boyfriend because I need the internet to know that he dresses like an 80s cocaine dealer. Okay, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that outfit. That's something I would wear. We... Day five of pretending to be a dolphin trainer on Tinder. So far, nobody has questioned how I train a saltwater mammal in Missouri. So you're lying. You're a liar. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Let me full screen this. Look at those legs. That is confusing. Whoa, that's confusing. Look at those legs. That is confusing. Look at this Furbo. See this Furbo thing over here? The dog camera treat dispenser. I want one. It's fucking $300, though. I'll just wait a few years. It'll go down in price. Where's Saxenda? Saxenda! Can you hear me, computer? I want to see an ad for Saxenda. What we got here? Cat taps? Feeding the dog? What dog? Oh. Huh. That's funny. That's funny. That's a cat. Feeding a dog. Wow. Never seen that before. Evolution of trash over the years. <laughs> Lame. I want something that's actually going to make me laugh. Really? That was the 2015 one? Why is there two for 2015? That doesn't... That first 2015 one does not look right Ugh. I farted the one in 2000 doesn't look right either I'm pretty sure that's what it was but why is it shaped like that who cares this is Jason State <laughs> Jason Statham watch what he does Fwap, bop, 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 bam! Now, is that real? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Lil Nas X. He came out of the closet, everyone. He's a, he's a gay. Whoa. Joey looks really short. In this. I'm a bad person. I didn't even hear a word. I didn't hear a word. Did you? I didn't hear anything they said. It's the end of the world as we know it. Oh, you got bit by a arboreal salamander. Good for you, buddy. And you got rabies. My goddamn co-worker keeps adjusting the thermostat. Bought a laser thermometer to make sure I wasn't crazy. She's making everyone in her office sweat their asses off. It's 74 degrees outside. I ha hate it when people do that shit. Leave the thermostat. 
If the majority of motherfuckers want it cooler, then keep it cooler. If it's hot outside, we don't need it to be hot. And I never like the heat. I hate the heat. Oh. What's going on? He's helping him up? Okay, well, at least he's helping him up. Oh, shit! You stupid. That was stupid of him. What is this? Faces and styles, light and space interpolation. This is weird. I don't want to see that. Virtual reality painting? Oh, she's not bad looking at all. Damn, girl. Ooh, show me what you got. Okay, there's a cat. Why is this an eye bleach? I don't want to see this shit. Yeah, okay, it's a cat. Yeah, it's Jason Statham. A spider zombie. A zombie spider. Spider covered in fungus. Half dead, half alive, which can crawl around. What? That? What? How did it get covered in fungus? Spending my 21st birthday in Ireland getting high as the cliffs of Mahar. My workplace is getting a water cooler with a new company of water bottles. Okay, so what's the issue? Oh, it's a perfect fit. I see. Wow. Since we test drugs on animals first, rat medicine must be years ahead of, of human medicine. Okay, no. Dave Bautista rejects starring in Fast and Furious movies. I'd rather go do good films. Are they still making Fast and Furious? I thought they ended that shit. And if they haven't, end it. It's done. It's uh, you. Why? Why continue? That shit's not good anymore. It was good. But it's not anymore. They should have stopped at Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was used to be my all-time favorite, to be honest. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is empty on the inside. Did you know that? There's literally nothing inside of it. It's just a hollow cylinder that's leaning. Here's a cat. Stepping on a garbage can. Trying to get into the garbage can. But the garbage can falls on... The oh, that's like a food thing or something? Knocked a bunch of food all over the floor. So this guy's on the uh, online yard sale. And he says, Kevin, I need my chainsaw back. He doesn't know how to message because he's old. And doesn't understand technology. Speaking of old people, I just want to talk about something for here for a second. What the fuck is with these old cocksuckers who don't know how to drive? I can't stand slow old drivers, okay? And they've it seems like they're, there's more and more of them every day. Just today, I was driving down the road, okay, doing, doing 50. That's the that's the that's the speed limit. Kilometers an hour. Fifty, okay? That's the regular speed limit in town. This this old motherfucker, I'm coming this way, he's coming this way. Alright? I got the right of way. I don't got any stop signs or nothing. He does. He stops. He doesn't even look to see if I'm coming. And he pulls out as I'm coming towards him. And he's driving fucking ten kilometers an hour, I swear. And he doesn't even look over at me. He just keeps his eyes forward, and he's uh, just putting along. And I drove right the fuck up to the side of his door, and I just stayed there. And I'm like, come on! And I felt like laying on the horn, but he, he looked over at me, and he's still going slow, and he starts to speed up a little bit, and I just keep creeping forward. Oh, I felt like just fucking pushing him right off the road. 
I can't stand slow old drivers. If you're old and you can't fucking drive the speed limit, get the fuck off the road. Or die. Old people. Can't stand old people. You know, old people are alright. <laughs> it's just the way they drive. And they don't even understand. It's like they're just oblivious. They don't care. They'd rather just, you know, they're super nosy for one. So if they're not just staring out the window, not paying attention, out the windshield, I mean, then they're staring out the window looking at the people walking on the road. Every chance I have to ride an old person's slow ass, I take it. That sounded dirty. But I do. I can't stand old, slow, cock suckers. I can't. I fucking can't, man. I can't. It's too much. I can't do it. <sighs> and wouldn't it be nice if we were homeless? Wouldn't it be nice if skies were gray? All right, folks. Like I said, this is a short one and not a very in-depth discussion of anything. So, with that being said, thank you for watching this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it, as short as it was. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Ronald Reagan. And as you know, it does. You do have to fold it just once. And that's much easier to deal with than a vending machine. Where is he? Where's that Reagan guy? Oh! If he, oh, fuck yeah. Fucking fuck yeah. I love it when shit falls over. Don't you just love it when shit falls over? Oh, yeah. Fall over. Please, fall over some more. Please, please. I'm begging you. I just want you to fall.